Hello everyone, in this video let's have a look at the Awaken OS ROM for the POCO XC Pro. As you can see here it is based out of Android version 12 and it also has the latest standard security patch level as of now. And this is the launcher that this ROM comes with. And this is basically the stock pixel launcher as you can see here. Here are certain other settings that you'll find. You can search your phone and enable or disable certain results from your search. And you also have suggestions option. I have turned them off for the home screen but enable them from the all apps list. And on the left side you'll have the Google pane. And here are the wallpaper and style options. Here you can choose the basic colors if you want. You can also enable or disable the dark theme from here. And you can enable themed icons and change the app grid size as well. And now let's have a look at the benchmark scores of this particular room. And as you can see here, this is the wildlife score that this particular room got. And a score of 3453. It beat out 53% of other Poco X3 Pro users. And here is the Geekbench score. The single core score is 724 and multi-core score is 2283. So compared to other rooms, this score is comparatively lesser than the average that I generally get. You can compare the scores across other rooms by watching my other videos that are linked below in the description. And let's go in and have a look at what kind of features that this room offers. Under the gesture options, you will find this quick tap action and they come in really handy and I like them. And you can also open certain apps using this double tap gesture. You can quickly open the camera using the power key. You can customize the navigation buttons change the layout and you can press and hold the power key for assistant if you want you have 100 mode and you can also enable a shortcut for it if you want or access it using the gesture you also have option to swipe to screenshot using three fingers and you can control the playback using the volume keys when your display is off you have the option for volume wake you can also use the volume keys for cursor control when you are typing you can enable advanced restart double tap to sleep and other than that, let's go in and you'll find the other features tucked away, hidden away basically. Under the display section, here you can find screen timeout, here you have lock screen options. And do note that this room also comes with face unlock option. And here are other options like double tap to check the phone. You have ambient music ticker, double tap to sleep, lock screen charging info, ripple effect. You also have navigation bar pulse, you have show media cover art as lock screen background. You can also mess around with the icon shape here and change up the icon pack if you want. So basically the customization features are all hidden away here and you can change up the accent color picker if you want. And let's go here. Let's choose the red color and as you can see here Moon Engine has turned everything reddish and you have different color options and you can customize the color balance as well. You can customize the minimum refresh rate and it can be made even 30 hertz to save battery life. You have prevent accidental wake up, you have display customizations like this as you can see here. You have battery estimates options, you can also customize the lock screen settings like this. And let's go back. You have other options like status bar items that can be enabled or disabled. Roaming indicator, mic and privacy indicator, location indicator, media player, brightness slider. You have network traffic speed monitor as well. And you can also use always on when charging if you want. And ambient edge lightning to light up the edges of the screen whenever you get a new notification. So basically overall you also get a feature for hidden apps. You can hide certain apps using this particular feature. And overall, this room is pretty great. Even the battery life is pretty solid. I'm getting about six to seven hours of screen on time at 120 Hz refresh rate set to always. And the performance is pretty great too. The ideal drain is pretty good as well. As you can see here, the ideal drain is only 0.62% per hour. So ideal drain on this particular room is one of the best that I've ever seen. So that's it for this video. If you like, click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Bye bye. Take care.